Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to another daily vlog. I am so red faced because it is so cold outside. But I thought I would carry you along with me today because I've got a busy, super busy day. You hear that very loud noise, that's my dishwasher. <laughs> it did not, the soap did not like melt. And so I'm having to wash it again. So I'm kind of behind on that. But welcome to this daily vlog. I just took the kids to school it's like 30 degrees outside. My face is numb. It's very cold for us. We've been having 60 degree days. I'm now in shock. Okay, so today we are about to head to the church. I am this week reorganizing all of our kids' room supplies. Um, they've just gotten to be such a mess. Really trying to have a better system for our kids. If you don't know, um, I help coordinate the kids' church at our church. And... Um, I just want to make it easier for all the teachers to find stuff. We have like three classrooms full of supplies. So David and I are going to be working on this all week. He's technically off today, but we're going to go work on it for a couple hours. And David is just coming back because he's taking Layla to the groomers. Um, we haven't taken her to the groomers in years. We always just do it ourselves, And we've been so busy that we just haven't had a chance to do it in weeks. We keep putting it off. It makes a huge mess, and she needs just a good professional grooming. So we're biting the bullet, and David just took her to a groomer that seems really great. Um, so hopefully that all works out. But we can't pick her up until about 1, which is perfect because I have a grocery order from Walmart picked up, pick up time, <laughs> whatever that's called, um, at 12 over by the church. So we're going to work a little bit at the church. Then we are going to pick up our groceries, come home and get Layla. Then it'll be time to get the kids. And then tonight I'm dropping off all of my consignment stuff. Okay. So I have two huge baskets of toys. Do you see that? That's a laundry basket that's overflowing. I have two. I have a basket of shoes that no longer fit. I have a pile. These are all of Nate's clothes, which he does not have as many as Lucy. Lucy's are hanging up. It's real dark in here. I'm sorry. It goes from here all the way to the end. I have everything item itemized out. I have 277 items that I'm selling. And a lot of them are like packaged together. So like if I have a book, book set that's two or three books that I put them together, that's one item. So you can have up to 300 items. Last time I did this, I had 150. This year I have 277. So I've got to drop all that off tonight at 720. And then I'll probably be up there a couple hours because the one I do, you put it on the floor yourself. You put it like they have it all labeled, but you have to go through and put everything on the shelves and on the hangers. Not the hangers, they're already hung up, but on the racks. And it's a little bit time consuming. So I'm hoping I make a good bet. If I make three or $400, I'll be so excited. So it'll be totally worth it. But I've been working on that all weekend. David just texted me. He was texting me and texting me, but I was at the school with the kids. Hey, do you want me to get you breakfast? Do you want me to get you breakfast? And then finally he was like, "Never mind. I just went ahead and got it for you. So he got me a sausage gravy biscuit and a coffee. I'm just going to eat it. I'm like, okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> so we're going to run out the door. Um, really trying to just listen to hunger and fullness today not emotionally eat. Sometimes when I get busy and stressed, um, not stressed bad, but just a lot of stuff, I feel like eating more. But when I get to the church, I'm going to kind of show you guys what I'm going to be organizing. And then maybe the later on in the week, I can show you what it actually looks like. Oh, I like the finished product of organizing, but I do not like the um, doing it part. It's really just, ah, uh, it gets overwhelming. So we're going to go run and do that. We're going to do our groceries. We're going to do Layla's getting, Layla's probably freaking out, but I'm sure she's going to look so good. So anyway, it is cold, but we're headed out. I'll see you guys back. And when we get to the church, I'll show you what we're organizing. Okay, you guys. So the day is pretty much gone a totally different way than I wanted it to. So we left, we're almost at the church. Like we are less than a mile from the church and we live far, like 30 minutes from the church. So we're about to head there, get there, get our, um, stuff organized and I get a call from the school and Nate needs to be picked up because he's having diarrhea. Maybe that's TMI. I'm sorry. Um, so <laughs> now we're gonna have to go all the way back and get him. And 
I have no idea. Sometimes he does this. I, I'm hoping it's not like he's sick sick. It's just if he's having two, if they have more than like two episodes, then they have to be sent home just in case. Sometimes his stomach just gets upset or maybe he drank some juice or so now I've got to go pick him up. Um, yikes. So we're going to do that. I'm going to see how he is. If he's absolutely sick, sick, I'm just going to have to go home with him. If not, maybe I can bring him to the church. Either way, we've now got to drive all the way <laughs> ah, and we still have to get our groceries down here. It's just a hot mess, but you know, that's how the day is going. So we're going to go back and we're going to get Nate and then we will come back and hopefully he's okay and we can let him play and do, um, some organizing maybe he's okay but oh, bless his heart so you never can have the day planned out I've learned as soon as I saw the school calling I was like oh no who is sick I thought maybe it was Lucy because she's been having a cough but she seemed fine um all weekend so I think she just has a little cold but yeah, it's neat so anyway we're getting some gas and we're getting back in the car we might just leave David at church I don't know right, so I dropped David off at the church and I just went and got him how you feeling how you feeling? Yes. How you feeling? Yes. I, I asked him, I said, is your tummy hurt? He said, tummy hurt. So um, the teacher said he can't come back today or tomorrow because they have to be like diarrhea free for 24 hours. So I have nothing at the house for him to drink. I'm out of lemonade. I'm out of everything because I'm picking up my groceries in a few hours. David's going to get those. So we're going to get some Sprite at McDonald's and we're going home. Change of plans today, but that's okay. So... Just want to get him feeling better. Bless his heart. All right, you guys. So it is now almost two o'clock. David just left to get Lucy. He went and got my groceries for me. So I filmed that. I've just been cleaning the entire house like a mad woman. When anyone gets a stomach bug, I start cleaning and it needed it anyway. So I have cleaned the bathrooms. I have cleaned the kitchen. I have done laundry. I have not sat down. I've swept and mopped and all the things. I am tired and I have a long way to go before the end of the day. Nate seems okay. He has not really had any more episodes since we left school. Um, he had several tummy problems. Let's just say that at school. By the time we left though, he seemed okay. He's been eating. He's been drinking. He even ate his lunch that I packed him. We're just watching and waiting. Seems like his stomach is kind of crampy though because after he ate, I thought he was going to have to go potty, but he never did. <laughs> The, the Dictionary of Wednesday. The Dictionary of Wednesday. Wednesday is, he calls it the third day of the week because we start on Monday. Third day of the week, the day before Thursday, the day after Tuesday. That is what Wednesday is. <laughs> I've been answering a lot of questions. Um, so Dave has gone to get Lucy. I'm still cleaning. We put their groceries away, doing laundry. Dave's going to go back to the church because he had to drive the church van home with the grocery because <laughs> he was stranded at the church. So he's going to drive that back, and then our pastor's going to bring him home later tonight, and then I'm going to go to my consignment sale. I'm a little worried because I wanted to have the car loaded before we went and got Lucy, but I think she'll be okay, hopefully, to see the stuff go. Maybe I can distract her. Well, we'll let her watch something or something while I load the car later. So I need to leave by here by like 6 so Dave is going to make himself some tacos. I'm going to feed the kids. <laughs> and then tomorrow Nate's home all day. Even if he doesn't have any more diarrhea, he's still home tomorrow. Okay, Layla also got home from the groomers. And <laughs> she looks so funny because they trimmed. David told him to trim her real short. Um, like really, she's, it's real short. Maybe that's why the next time maybe we won't go so short. But they were really sweet and at really good price. But do you guys want to see what she looks like? Layla, come here. She's actually eating some food. You want to show the people how cute you look? She looks so small after they cut her hair off. Come here. You ready? Look at her. She's so tiny. She's so cute. Her little eyes are all red and wet the because she was so Thursday. The day after Wednesday, the day before thir uh, Friday, the fourth day of the week. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to get busy cleaning. I have everything for the consignment sale ready to go. I just got to load the car. And then that will be a workout, trying to get everything unloaded by myself. I really wish I had done a time where David could have gone with me without the kids to help me because 
it's a lot to unload everything and to put it all on the floor. It's a very big place. Last year, I did get some footage, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of one of the earlier times, so there's probably not a whole lot of stuff out yet, so you won't really be able to tell too much in the video, but I also have a lot more stuff that I'm putting out, so I probably won't have time to get any video, but I'll definitely let you know how it goes. Um, but they didn't have any times where the kids would be out of school or in school, so David could go with me, and of course, we didn't know about Nate being sick either, so that wouldn't have worked out anyway, but... I wish he could have gone with me because it'll go a lot faster with two people helping. But I'll be there for a while unloading everything. And they have to like hand check every item. That took the longest because they meticulously go through it. But anyway, it'll be fine. So, Monday. The Dictionary of Monday. First day of the week. The day after Sunday. The day before Tuesday. <laughs> he calls Monday the first day of the week if you're curious. I think it's because it's the first day of his school week. But anyway, David went and got us just some chicken tenders from Bojangles. So I had a few, just probably three of those. And um, I'll have some tacos later. I didn't show you guys because I've been so busy. But anyway, I also had a collab. I don't know if I said this at the beginning. I had a collab go live today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. My very first collab um, ended up only like four other people. Um... On the video, I say, like, I invited a lot of people, <laughs> a whole bunch of people, and I did, but I only had, like, four ladies do it with me, but they are some of my favorites, and I really appreciate them doing it, and I think we we helped out a lot of people to save a little bit of money, so hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going <laughs> to, he's sick, y'all, but he's standing on top of stuff. I'm going to go make Nate sit down and rest, and I'm going to finish cleaning and I've got to edit a grocery video which should be funny because Nate talked all the way through it we'll see how that turns out and I'll check back in with you guys in a little while we'll see how Lucy did at school she's still coughing I was telling the secretary I don't know what to do like my kids have been sick all the time thankfully it's mostly been on the weekends and they haven't had to miss a lot of school but we just can't get everybody well Nate please sit down and you guys, it was snow flurrying this morning. We were so surprised. It was not much, like very sparse, but it was snowing. We were so excited. Okay, I'll see you guys back in a little bit. You guys, Nate is being hilarious. So I thought I would get this on video for you guys. What do you want to talk? Mommy. I'm so happy, Nate. Afraid, mommy. I'm so afraid. Disappointed, mommy. Oh man, I'm so disappointed, Nate. He is making me do all the emotions, you guys. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there. He's been watching Face. Who remembers? Who remembers Face from Nickelodeon? Um, from Nick Jr. Oh my gosh, he has been watching it on YouTube, and it's not one like a show. It's like what they use it as a transition, and. He's cracking me up. I think he feels fine. Good. I mean, I'm glad he feels fine, but really messed up my day <laughs> to be fine. That's okay. David's almost home with Lucy, so I just thought I would get that on video, but then it turned out just to be like 10 seconds long, and then he was done. That's how life goes when I pulled the camera out. So anyway, well, that was fun. So mad today. Proud, Mommy. I'm so proud of you, Nate. We should, Mommy. Oh, I'm so assured. I'm just so reassured. Sad, Mommy. I'm so sad, Nate. Sorry, Mommy. Oh, I'm sorry. Thankful, Mommy. I'm so thankful for you, Nate. You're so Where special. Worried, Mommy. Oh, I'm worried because I'm worried about your Hi. tummy. I'm so worried about I'm your tummy. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Are you feeling okay? Yes. Can I have a kiss? Mm, yes. Yeah. Daniel's drawing. I love you. I love you. So much. He wipes off the kisses every time. And <laughs> he's been in rare form today, y'all. <laughs> You're funny, Nate. You're funny. I love you. Okay, so Lucy wants to sing you guys a song. We're ready, Lucy. Well, I'm going to sing him in the land. Okay. I slept number left me chewing my bubble gum chop. Chop, 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 play with my yo yo. Do what, do what, do what, do what. Watching the birds fly by, and then I saw 
Herman when we was in this bag. As Herman what happened, me said, I swallowed one grape. Soon on a gate, but number left me chewing my bubble gum. Chop, chop, chop. Doing my yo yo do what do what do what do what I think the birds fly by and then I saw him in the web he was this big as him what happened and he said I swallowed two apples So the coming gate flapping on my left knee two of my bubble gun chop 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 Playing with my yo yo, do what, do what, do what, do what. I think the bird fly by. Then I saw him in the web. He was this big. As him, what happened? And he said, I swallowed three grapefruits. Sitting on the gate, flapping out my left knee. Chewing my bubble gun. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, play with my yo yo, do what, do what, do what, do what. I think the birds fly by. And then I saw him in the wind. He was this big. I Good said, job. I said, him, what happened? And he said, I swallowed four apples. Wow, Lucy, that was no, so it good. It had to go all the way to six. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Can you tell everybody how your day was today? It was good. What happened today? I missed you, Nate, because I had to go home. Late. She was a little bit upset when Nate wasn't there, wasn't, weren't she? But you're a big girl. I was. You were. And Giles got my, a, a ball on my head. You got hit in the head with a ball. Yeah. And how'd that feel? Not good. Not good. Is it feeling better now? Good. I'm sorry you got hit in the head. That's no fun. Now you can watch my him in the wind. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, tell everybody bye. Bye, bye, bye. What do you think about Layla's haircut? We can go and see it. I right? showed them already. What do you think? It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> you were a little scared at first when you saw her, weren't you? Yeah. You didn't know why she looked like that. I did it. She kind of looks like a kona. A what? Kana. What's that mean? Kana. What's kana? It's a little dog. She's sweet. Take a picture of her. Okay, let's take a picture. All right, you guys, I am loaded down to the max. I am terrified this pile of clothes back here is going to fall and get all tangled up in the hangers. I'm headed to my consignment sale. Um, I look a little bit of a hot mess because I've been running up and down the stairs. I think I'm a little bit in over my head. <laughs> Last year I did 150 pieces. This year I'm doing double and it will barely fit in my car. The trunk is loaded. I had to take Nate's seat out. Everything's falling apart. I just want to get it there before everything gets tangled. So I'm going to go do that. I will try my best to show you when I get it on the cart. When you get there, you have to, I'm trying to find my lip gloss because my lips are so chapped. When you get there, you have to load it onto like a rolling cart, which I'm a little bit afraid that I have too much to fit on a rolling cart. I'm going to have to make two trips. Um, you have to load it on a rolling cart and then you take it into them and have to have it sorted and they go over all of the stains and stuff which I just found a dress with a stain so that sucks because we're already one dress down and they haven't even looked at it yet and they always find something so I'm afraid this is going to be a very long night putting everything out there's times where I'm like is this truly worth because <laughs> uh, I've done a lot of work for this but anyway let's go let's do it David has the kids it's almost six o'clock we're headed out All right, you guys, that was amazing. Oh my goodness. So it's only 7.07, it's now dark. 
I got here about 6.30. My check-in time was not until 7.20, but they went ahead and let me go ahead and get checked out. They looked, last time I had to stand there while they looked through every little thing, but they let me go ahead and start putting away all my toys and stuff while they were checking all the clothes. And they only found two things that they rejected out of all 277, which is awesome. I tried my best to go through and see any stains, but it's really hard. Like, oh my gosh, it's really hard. I, I pulled stuff with stains several times of going through it, just like little tiny things or little rips or little tiny holes. So I found one thing before we left and then they found two. So I ended up with 274 items that I'm like praying will sell. <laughs> and then, um, they helped me put it all away. Like last time I did everything. I came during the day. There wasn't as much help. And I did every item I put away. This time I didn't even put up half the stuff. They really helped. They had great workers. There's other consignment sales in the area that pay a little bit more or are closer to home and stuff. But I will always shop this one and sell at this one because of how it's organized. The vast quantity they have. They draw a lot of shoppers. And I've just had really great luck with it. So... I had a ton of stuff. All of those clothes were just last season's wardrobe for my kids. Most of it was given to us or hand-me-downs or um, gifts and stuff. And, like, I didn't buy all of that. But still, that's way too much. Like, my kids don't need that much stuff. So I'm really trying to pare down what I buy for them. But it's so hard. But, like, for Lucy, whatever I buy for her, I can pretty much sell for the same price. So it's kind of like she's using clothes for free. Like, it's kind of weird, but it's kind of true. I just really love consignment sales all the way around. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Let me be real. <laughs> all of the sorting, pinning, ironing, printing, cutting, labeling, driving over here, putting everything away, it's a lot of work. But when I get that check, it's going to be totally worth it. So I feel like the people who are buying it here, I try to price it for really low so that they can get a good deal and, um, dress their kids for less and all of my stuff is really good name brand stuff so because we are super blessed and I pared down a lot of the kids books a lot of the kids toys and they are already playing better so I've really got to remember that and at the end of it Lucy was helping me get rid of stuff like she was excited about it because she saw how much better her room looks we still have a long way to go on that but um because I would like them to get rid of even more stuff but this was definitely a good start so I am done. I told David I will not be home till way past bedtime. You know, just put the kids to bed and everything. Well, I am already done. He's going to be shocked. I left him with instructions to put them to bed, <laughs> to make himself dinner, and I'm going to be home. So I need to stop and get some Sprite, get some Gatorade and stuff since Nate's tummy's upset. Um, I wish I had thought to put that on the grocery pickup order, but I didn't know that he was going to be sick. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to go home and I'm going to close up this vlog because I know it's long. This day was crazy and I don't think I told you guys this. Maybe I did. Maybe I did tell you. Um, the kids are out of school on Friday. I just found out. I had no idea they were out of school on Friday, but it's like a teacher work day or something. And I just realized when I was looking at Lucy's folder that there was a reminder that school was out on Friday. So this whole week we had planned to do all this work at church. Nate's going to be home Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. So, and they're both going to be home Friday. So I don't know how it's going to go y'all. It's just, you got to roll with the punches. We'll get it done. We have a big meeting on Sunday that we're preparing for, and I really need to get some stuff done before then, but you got to do what you're going to do. You got to do what you got to do, right? Anyway, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. If you have not checked out that collab that we all did, that me and like four other ladies did, make sure you go check it out. I really, really love every single channel that participated and I want to do more. Like I want to do another one that's all about the name brands we actually want to pay more for because they're worth it. So be looking for that one soon. Hopefully I can get it together, but definitely go check out the videos because everybody did a little bit different style and it turned out so, so good. I'm going to go home. It's been a long day. I'm tired. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys if you're in the Atlanta area. If you're in the Woodstock area of a, North of Atlanta, definitely come check out the All for Kids consignment sale in Woodstock at the His, His Hands Church. If I can talk, 
It'll be Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Saturday is half price day. Most everything, a lot of things are half price. But Thursday, it opens at 8.30 with a $5 donation to missions or the regular sale starts at 9.30. So definitely come check it out. It's huge. There is over 800 sellers, you guys. It's huge. So if you're in this area, go check it out. And I'll see you guys all later. Love you guys. Bye. me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody 